Hey guys, it's Saturday and today I'm <clears throat> installing a subwoofer to my A91. So everything is gonna go under this. Everything is gonna be mounted here. The magnifier and the subwoofer. <clears throat> so what I got here is the magnifier, uh, wiring kit, uh, a speaker wire to RCA converter, uh, 10 inch in subwoofer, and uh, custom made box that's gonna fit straight into that compartment there just like this I'll leave the link in the description but I am not uh, sponsored or anything I paid full price so just showing you what you can do so first I need to connect the terminals here to the subwoofer so let's open up this wiring kit wire the RCA wires that's here and we have the fuse for the power for the amplifier a remote wire and some speaker wires and a power cord That's it. Then we have a little instructions on the back how to connect it. But first, I'm gonna take a little bit of the speaker wire. So I can connect the subwoofer to the terminals here. So I'll need some sockets, some female sockets to put over and connect to the speaker wire and then the speaker wire just clips into this. So I'm gonna do that. So here I have sockets that will fit on the terminal, so I'm going to put one on each.
So now these are good. Then I'm gonna go ahead and connect the red one here and the blue one here. I need to make them a little bit more snug so they get stuck on. Let's try it now. There we go. Nice and snug. Very snug. There we go. And go now we need to make sure we have ex excess cable so we can connect it the subwoofer so it's just so I can take it out again with it so I'm gonna cut it like this. Now it's ready to put, be connected to, just gotta make sure which one is what, because we want to connect the red one to the red on the subwoofer. So this one is the red one. Get the subwoofer. Like this and connect it right here. And right here. Like this and like this. So now I can put the subwoofer in. So that's how it looks, but. I think I want to turn it like this. That's cooler. Then I can screw it. Screw side. Okay. 
now I can screw this in. So that's in next to pull it up. It's quite snug in there. Next next I have to connect wires from there and get them ready to be connected to the amplifier. So we take the speaker wires again. Then we take the wire with us, Let's go back to the car. So, I rooted the speaker wires out here. I'm not gonna cut it yet because I am not decided if I want to have the amplifier just here and then it's just short or if I turn it around for other reasons. I haven't decided so let's go on to the next thing. So the inter internet tells me that the best place to get the signals from is from the subwoofer, small subwoofer under the front seats. So I'm gonna disconnect the negative terminal on the battery and then start removing one of the seats and look under to see 
what's there. So we have torque bolts there on each side and then so this is T50 Go to the back. And there are all two more Torx bolts. I'm gonna loosen them and I'll come back. So now that the seat is loosened, we have connections here that we pull out, disconnect. And then we can pretty much take the seat out. Well, So the seat is out, I didn't disconnect the belt, I just pulled it out. And here is supposed to be a subwoofer. But before I open up everything, I'm gonna vacuum all this shit, clean it up, it's disgusting. Subwoofer. And here we have the wires. So, this one is next up, the RCA converter. There are four wires here and then RCA connector. Uh, two of those wires need to go to the left subwoofer under the seat and the other two need to go to the right one. So I need to find a way to feed wires from the speaker to this and then this to the magnifier. The decision is where I'm gonna put this. If I'm gonna route wires all the way back to the trunk or put this somewhere in a neat spot and then just put the RCA cables to the back. I'm gonna look into that. 
So here we have the instructions for connecting. So these two go to the left subwoofer, these two go to the right one, and this one here is just ground. So before I continue I'm going to take the driver's seat out as well, open up the speaker there and then decide where to route out the wires. So now I've opened up for both the right and the left subwoofer. And since the positive wire goes through here to the battery, you don't want to put the speaker wires on the same side as the positive wire so I was thinking if I uh, splice into the wires here uh, take them under to here uh, and route them back on this side as well as splicing to there and routing those wires back but first, what I'm gonna do now, here in the trunk, on the left, there's a cigarette lighter socket, what we call it, and from there, I'm gonna get the remote. The remote wire is to turn off and on the amplifier when you switch on the car and it switches on and off the socket so I'm gonna tap into this wire here so it turns off every time I switch off the car so in this plug here we have a brown wire which is ground and then a green yellow wire which is positive and we're gonna tap into the positive one So, I'm gonna put a stick here in and unlock the wire. Take it out like this and splice more cleanly into it. So, I soldiered, soldered focus soldered the wire to there so now I can just plug it back in like this So, that's pretty clean to me, better than cutting into the wire if you don't have to. So now we have remote. Uh, I'm not gonna cut it yet until I know where everything's going. So in the end it's gonna go here in the center where it says remote but first we need to figure out where to route the speaker slash uh, RCA wires so here we have the left subwoofer plug and gonna see if I can make it similarly clean maybe it won't be as good but because there's no space there so I might uh, take the wire out of the plug uh, splice it in in somewhere here and then just uh, heat over a heat shrink to close it all up 
I think that's the best idea. And to take the connector out, you need to lift this white thing up. Like this, it's gone, and then there are all little. little, little guys here that you need to push a little bit and then you can pull it out so I'm gonna pull one out connect the wire to it splice it in here and put a heat shrink and then plug it back in and do that with the both, both sides and then I'll show you what the result is so I'm thinking if I can just put the RCA converter inside here, the center console, uh, instead of having to go there, here and all the way back and then from here and all the way back from both speakers. That's a lot of wiring so if I can just route this one in here, this one in here connected to the RCA connector and then just go with the RCA wires under and all the way back. So first, pull this off, where is it, There's like a, this one on the other side, I'm gonna unplug it and then take it off. So here we have the center console and it looks like there's plenty of space to hide a, the IC, RCA converter back here. So put this one back here and connect the wires. Oh, just connect the ground maybe under this one maybe I'll have to put a bigger shoe on it so it fits over the bolt yeah I think think that's the plan so here I open it up soldier the wire together then I put a heat shrink on it and it looks clean like that. Now it's ready. I can plug it back like that. So this is ready to be route it up into the center console. Forgot one thing, we have to put the white brace back on to lock it in. There we go. And look. So let's find a way to go take this back here. So I'm going under the rock to follow some 
wiring harness here. Then going in through here. It's out of the way. So it's under here. I'm gonna strap it to the harness here. Goes up here and under here and comes back here. And then I might route it through here and then I have to connect it to this so now I can think I can cut it and start plugging it into this but before I start working on this I'm gonna do the same on this side uh, splice into the plug uh, route it up here and under here so I can get it both here on the same side. So this one is spliced into as well but when I was gonna put heat on the heat shrink I noticed I, somehow the extension cord was in between. But I think it can pass through here. What a fail! There we go. No harm. This one is ready to be plugged back in. So now we have to route these wires to the center console. The brown is always earth and the other one is positive in this situation same route sides here 
this one and this one. Gonna cut this one here. So before I'm gonna connect this one, I'm gonna put a bigger shoe on this one so I can put it onto the bolt to get ground. So now I've connected the wires as uh, drawing says. So now I just I put a bigger thing on the ground wire so I'm gonna loosen up this one All right so the speaker wires the converter is connected so now we have to root the RCA wires all the way to here. So it's time to connect these wires to the RCA adapter. Mine have colors blue and black, so I'm gonna put black in black in the white one and the blue in the red one so I now well, I want to take them in on the side same as the speaker wires unplug Black to white, to red, and then find a place for it here, and then I'm gonna see. If I can't put the cover on before I everything in place perfect so now I have to route the RCA wires under the carpet and then all the way back to the amplifier so I've gone under there now I'm taking the plastic pulling this just a little bit away and I need to take this tab here. I lifted the seat so it's out of the way. And I need to take this plastic off. Then post probably find a way to take this, this aside as well. So I can get the RCA cable back to the trunk. So to take this pad here. You just lift this plastic, that's here, lift it straight up, and then this comes, clicks out on the top and then slides up. Now we have pretty much a line all the way back for the wires. So. Now the wire is all the way all the way and back to the trunk. So before we connect everything and do ca cable management and stuff, the last wire is the power cable and um, the fuse so that's up next 
Now it's time for the positive wire. I plugged it in under here. Everything is pretty much connected right now. The ground comes here and goes to the chassis here. Then we have the power going to the battery. And here we have the RCA and the remote going through here. So now I just have to clean, close it up, put all this all this stuff back together in seats and everything. Then I can connect the electricity and see if it works. Everything is back together here, so I can just put the driver's seat in. Now that everything's back together, we can try out. Let's try that out. working